So Nicola is um, a man who um, makes it possible for entrepreneurs to make their big ideas come alive. How did you, uh, tell me a bit about what you do. So what, uh, what I do, I work for, um, I'm a partner in a fund uh, calling Alvin Capital, called Alvin Capital, which, is, uh, which invests in startups. So we, we invest in very young uh, projects. Entrepreneurs come, they cannot find money uh, from banks. So I have a project, but I need money and I need support to, 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 to make it, uh, to realize it. And over the last years, we used to finance uh, all the 50-year-old uh, technologies coming from research centers or state uh, research. And over the last 10 years, we find out that all the great entrepreneurs, the entrepreneurs were greater every year. They were younger every year. They were coming from everywhere. And we realized that at the coming out of business school or engineering school or, or even uh, some people who just had no studies but learned coding, learned the internet, we realized that the model for uh, students were no more bankers, civil servants in France, but really entrepreneurship. I think they all dreamt in front of the, the, the network, the, the movie uh, uh, about Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg. And in schools, now when you go to business school, people, they want to be entrepreneurs. And over the last few years, among these people who were wanting to be uh, entrepreneurs, many of them were saying, wow, it's great to be entrepreneur." But since I can choose my life, choose my, my project, my company, I'd like to, to do something uh, which makes sense. It's great to sell stocks over the internet, but if I could, uh, if I could bring something uh, to the world, something good, it'd be even greater. And that was, we as a venture capital, it was tough to invest in those companies because they were not looking for profitability, but for social impact. Uh, like uh, there was a company called um, Babylon. It's, uh, it enables an uh, internet user to finance microcredit project everywhere in the world, just disintermediating microcredit. There was another um, kind of Google uh, search engine saying each time you search your engine, we give 30% uh, of our profit to uh, an association that the internet user can choose. It was amazing, but we had money from uh, institutional investors like uh, yeah, institutional investors, we, themselves they had foundations or the way to do a social good, and we couldn't take their money to invest in projects which objective, primary objective was not profitability. So I went to my partner, I said, ah, in, in a few months we are gonna raise a new fund, we should do another small fund, um, a, venture, a social venture capital fund, and propose to our uh, investors to invest in the main Alven fund, but also to co-invest in a small venture capital fund to test these new areas, this new world of uh, social startup. And uh, my pastor, ah, let's think about that. And then at the end, they're a bit older. They, well, we shouldn't mix things, it'd be complicated. Either we're on business or we do, uh, we do a social good, but it's gonna be disturbing to, to mix both, uh, both uh, you are not an NGO, uh, an NGOs. So they said, okay, Nicholas, if you like this project, what you could do, take some time on your spare time and see, and you, we give you time to, to, to make this project a real, um, but not within Alven. And so I went, I was in Ashoka with a few other Ashoka guys. Um, we felt that it was the right moment to do that. So we, and we set up Investir et Plus, which is a, a fund who doesn't look for profitability, just to, we, we tell our, our investors, okay, invest, you will uh, maximize the impact, invest in young, talented entrepreneurs. Most of them, we can make their, their um, change the world because of the internet, because of technology, like Annette. Um, and, um, and, uh, and if you can get back your money, that's fine, but uh, uh, that's not the, the aim, it's just to, to, to prove that there's a model, that a company, a startup, can first intend to, be, to have a social impact, and then as a secondary objective, be profitable, so that to be independent, don't depend on the subsidies, on the state, because the state resources are quite scarce these days. Um, so that was a challenge. For the first two years, we were a bit scared because we didn't see good projects. As we see entrepreneurs this is desperate for money, which were painting social on their project, <laughs> but it was not really social, or some uh, people which were so far from business that we felt it was not the right model. And after a few, but we kept going, and uh, after a few, uh, now it has been two years now, and we have found amazing entrepreneurs. We have financed uh, Spark News, which we, you, uh, Christian Boredon is here, you will hear more about uh, Spark News tomorrow. We have financed uh, another example, is Simplon. He's a guy who was uh, heading a web agency, and he says, the world is crazy. I cannot find developers in France. We, we have, there's a, a huge lack of developers, of coders, and I have to outsource developing to India or Madagascar. 
And at the same time, in the poor suburb area of France, 70% of uh, the young are unemployed. This is crazy. So it is a simple thing. He went to the, from poor cities and districts, tried to, to find some people unemployed but motivated, and, uh, and did a school, a kind of modern act, a school based on a, a team, uh, team learning, uh, experience learning. And he trained them for six months, and after six months to language like Ruby and Rails, or language where we lacked the, the resources. And after six months, this guy, they, have a, they are trained, and they can find a job. And, um, and, and the last, and we, we, in our experience, it was quite funny. We, we, we realized that indeed, great project, like people like Annette, who are changing the world, at the end of the day, they don't need money. And when they came to us, it was not for money. It was because we had set up a network of entrepreneurs uh, who could support them, open doors for them. And the real thing they were looking is really uh, experience sharing, mentorship. And actually, we found out that money was just a link between us, just a, a seal between people who, who can give, share the experience, and entrepreneurs who are feel very much alone. And we are much more comfortable with, uh, with more experienced entrepreneurs uh, helping them. Thank you.